Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. Nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this going to do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? That's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys, I'm not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. This is so cool. We've been exploring the old builder's world this whole time. It's amazing. Well, we were pretty proud of it, and we were putting the place together. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. Oh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright oh. thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Seems as if some new competitive.
candidates to enter the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper jump us into? And why? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there seem like they're aiming for us. Hang on, I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like that! Something? Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I... And now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so... Are you all crazy? Mind-controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Where are you taking them? To the mines. Mm-hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. 
Well, sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard, because see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the games. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. Yes, well, I see your point. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... Want them out! <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines. How about my sword? Wow, a sword. Is it sharp? How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. I present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. Haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> oh, yikes. Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. What about this? Huh? I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper. <laughs> oh, don't you get started, Mevia. Oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. 
This is a one-time offer. You've got me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay, okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official agreement. Oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Don't know how I put up with him for so long. Harper, how bad is this going to be? Give it to me straight. It's not going to be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Seems like you don't approve. I don't. Believe me, these people would rather be here in the village than working in the mines. Mm. <laughs> they didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games, but it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Ah, seems like Hadrian's trying to make sure we all know who's boss. You always did catch on quick. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Uh, 
Aha, uh -huh. there's our nether portal. Hey, Jesse, finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all this has to be part of it. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Let's talk more after we find Lucas and Ivor. Sounds good. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> oh, forget I asked. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Wow! Hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most but not even a third of what Tim was. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Impressive. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. So if you don't mind... That book you're reading? Hand it over. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> wow! Ooh, that was so scary! I almost fell over! Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower! Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours! And you expect me to just hand it over? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and I like to read slow to absorb it better. So I'm going to be a while. Yeah, hand it over, meathead. And Slab, the immovable. Get out of here before I use this book to punch your face in. Fine. I just want to get through one more chapter. Hmm. Can't you see I'm trying to read? Jeez. Huh, sorry. That armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. Excuse me. Wow, rude. here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. <laughs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. What exactly do you do here? Well, when I'm not in the arena of being a great gladiator, I hand out the daily food rations and guard the food so no one tries to sneak any. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No, but if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. Yeesh, why is everyone so cranky around here? 
could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Fine, I'm out of here. Bye-bye! Can't wait to kill you again! Face meat. Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't look cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meat's bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face me cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face me has time, that is. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face me's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face me. With your face. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well. Now that you mention it, Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat'll think about getting your friends out. <laughs> Unless you got food, I don't want to talk to you. one I wanted to make suffer. Hey, leave before I ruin you. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. like amazing I am now and I am so super sorry about your friend I get your problems upset especially since you had no idea what was going on <laughs> it um well it wasn't very chill speaking of my friends have you seen them lately nope sorry they're like probably in the mines and that's on me such bad karma bad karma I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim, like one, like you could. People are like already talking about it. They're gonna like say stuff, compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable or not. It's cool. That's right. I'm going to win the games, too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't, like, tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is, like, pfft. she is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Like, be a good person, you know? Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sad. 
sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Hmm, some sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it too. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know but the gladiators are trained for everything, and they are completely under Hadrian's control. Unless I win, which I will, you've got guts. I respect that. I just can't wait to see those guts on the arena floor. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. No, you don't understand. I have to win. Winning is the only way my friends and I can go home. <gasps> is that how it works? That's what we're all trying to do. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Wooden plank, solid. There, that should be enough for a table. Aha, that's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Face me, got some bread for you. Bread, huh? Hmm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Get my friends out of there now. Hey, 
No need to yell. Though, uh, face me, it is impressed. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Palma, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worried. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. I still feel awful about picking Lucas over you with Palma. I'm really sorry. It's okay. What's important is that you saved me this time. And I still have all my stuff. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Quick response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Jesse? Now that you guys are out, we need to be careful. If Petra and I don't win the next round, we're gonna all be sent back through that nether portal. No, no way. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> Pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. We can't just leave. I really think we can win this. Good. We need to. Apparently, this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. Oh, great. What do you two want? Hey, now. Otto just wanted to meet you. Don't be mad. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep. A real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. I can feel change in the air. Whatever, as long as you don't cheat. Cheat? Oh, no, 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 no. That would never do. Not as long as I'm around. In fact, I'm going to make it my personal mission to make sure Hadrian plays by the book. You'll see. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors! 